Yo, what is going on my dudes? I'm your host Biscuits and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be customizing the Fister Neon. So this vehicle is primarily based off the Porsche Taycan in real life, which is an electric vehicle that Porsche does offer. So if you are interested in picking up a Fister Neon, it can be purchased from Legendary Motorsport for one and a half million dollars. All right, so starting off with the armor and the brakes. For the front bumpers, we can do a primary color splitter, secondary color splitter, carbon splitter, competition, secondary competition, and carbon competition. Let's go for the primary color splitter. On to the rear diffusers, so we can do a race diffuser or carbon race diffuser. Uh, let's go ahead and go carbon for the diffuser. I feel that looks pretty good. Engine, we'll go ahead and go all the way up um, on the hood. Okay, so I'm a little confused why the hood options is like a low-key livery. I'm, I'm not sure why that is, uh, but the single stripe looks good, so let's go with that. Uh, horn, that's probably fine for now. I'm not going to mess with that. For the headlights, uh, they already appear to be like xenon, so I don't need to make them any more blue. Uh, underglow, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll come back. Uh, so the mirrors, we've got race mirrors, so it looks like it just colors them to match the paint of the body. Carbon race mirrors, primary rear cameras. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like how a lot of modern electric cars, they're just putting cameras instead of mirrors. It's like the way of the future is pretty crazy. Secondary rear and carbon rear. Let's go ahead and just do race mirrors. I want to match those up with the uh, body color. Um, plate. Let's go ahead and go for my custom biscuits plate. Cannot go wrong with that. Respray, let's come back to that very last. Um, side skirts. So we can turn them into primary, we can do secondary carbon, primary race skirts, secondary race, carbon race, primary competition, secondary competition, and carbon competition. So the uh, I don't know about any of these options. They just make the side skirts hang way too low compared to the front and rear bumper. But I do want to do something, I guess. So You know, let's go for the primary race skirts to kind of match it up with the front. Very nice. Onto the spoiler, so we can do a primary color spoiler. We got a secondary color spoiler. We got a carbon, race, touring, and competition. These are just giant spoilers. Okay, so we definitely want to do something to get that traction bonus. Um, and it's going to be tough because uh, I don't really like any of these wings. Man, I really wish they had just like a lip spoiler or maybe just something like a little bit more smaller and subtle. I mean, this is the most subtle option. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, man, okay. Well, I guess let's go for the secondary color spoiler. I, we're going to have to make that work. I mean, I guess technically I could leave no spoiler on it. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we do want to get that traction bonus, so I know I'm not going to be racing this car, but in order to give you guys a solid review, I do need to have the stats fully maxed. So, yeah, we'll just leave that as is for now. Secondary spoiler. Onto the suspension. Let's go ahead and slam this thing as low as it possibly can. The sport suspension is an option. That is very nice. I love 
cars that sit nice and low to the ground like this and how the wheels and wheels and tires just fill out the wheel wells just perfectly man this thing is looking really nice okay wheels um hold on let's go for the windows first so the interior is kind of cool. Um, it has uh, these bucket racing seats in the front, and it has the exact same ones in the rear. So that is pretty cool. So, um, But you know what? Yellow, we need the privacy, right? Let's go ahead and do limo tent. All right, so for the wheels, um, I do like the wheel design, the stock wheels, but uh, unfortunately the chrome is just not really my cup of tea. So let's see we can figure out some other wheels for that will fit for this build all right so these uh, forged star wheels are looking very very nice on this vehicle so we're gonna go for those um, for the color uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna go black let's go black for now we may come back and turn them to something else but that should be okay Go ahead, let's go ahead and throw some bulletproof tires on here. And now we need to do the respray. So looks like we got a primary color, which is obviously the body, and then we have a secondary color, which appears to only be the spoiler. Ah, and the stripe, okay. So the spoiler and the stripe for the secondary color. Yes. So, uh, for a primary color. All right, so this uh, Spinnaker purple just caught my eye. It is looking pretty sick. I think it looks really good on this car. So we're gonna go for that. Um, let's see if we can figure out a pearlescent for it. Um, all right, and for a pearlescent, let's try uh, let's try this light blue. We will throw the light blue on, and yeah, that's a, definitely a unique, shiny purple blue paint, or I guess you call it blurple. Very nice. Um, for the secondary, how would look in white? Uh, the stripe is not bad in white, but the spoiler is just horrible in white. So. Yeah, so it looks like we have a uh, classic black for the secondary, and uh, it's already selected. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I think it looks pretty good. The uh, the stripe we could definitely get away with a different color, but for the spoiler, it pretty much has to be black or color matched. Um, so let's leave it black. That. All right, so I believe that is everything. Let's go ahead and get this thing outside. We can do a. Uh, I guess we'll try, <laughs> I say try, we'll try to do a sound test, and uh, we can do some first driving impressions as well. Alright, so here we have the Fister Neon outside. Uh, unfortunately, it is uh, storming and rainy today in Los Santos, so uh, I'm going to do the best I can here with what we have. So overall... The uh, aesthetics are pretty on point for this car. It is very, very sexy looking. Um, the wheel choice went with, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love how low it sits to the ground and how it just perfectly fits with the, uh, the stance of it. Just everything about this car is looking really nice. Uh, so again, the spoiler, I'm not 100% in love with the spoiler. I may take it off, but just for purposes of this video, I did throw it on because I wanted to max out the stats before I drive that, drive this around the city and give you guys some uh, ideas on performance for it. Um, so I like the uh, the Fister accent. It is really cool on the side skirt as well as the rear. And also when you turn on the headlights of the car, the Fister emblem actually lights up light blue. It's really cool, and uh, I'm not sure if the side skirt lights up too. It might. We will have to wait and see. So yes, let's go ahead and get the doors open here to get a closer look at everything. So the hood does not open. 
Here is a closer look at the interior. Got the nice bucket racing seats. And in the rear as well. That's kind of unique. I don't really see that too much in this game. Uh, the trunk. The trunk does open. So no trunk, no hood, just doors. That's all that opens up in this car. So as you can see now, the, uh, the Fister emblem is lit up. That is very cool. Not very many cars in this game have that, so that's nice. Uh, it does not appear that the side skirt lights up. It looks like it's just kind of a brighter color. So... Yeah. This thing looks sick. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Alright, so as you guys have probably figured out by now, this is an electric vehicle, so I'm not expecting any sort of sound for the uh, the sound test on the engine, but let's go ahead and try. Okay, yeah, so no sound at all. The only sound is the front wheels trying to go, because I'm holding down handbrake and gas right now. So, um, actually, let's do a quick drivetrain test before we even get any further into this video. All right, so this vehicle is all-wheel drive. So that is definitely going to help with handling, corners, etc., etc. It looks like the sun is trying to come out, so maybe we can get a better look at this paint here. Alright, so let's go ahead and floor it here. Alright, so acceleration seems very good. It is an electric vehicle, so that is kind of to be expected. Take a look at the first person. Very nice. I love the uh, the Fister emblem in the center of the steering wheel there. That is nice. Uh, this interior, I mean, the seats look unique, but the rest of the interior looks like it has been uh, reused. I know Rockstar likes to reuse a lot of interiors in this game, so I wouldn't say this interior is unique by any means. So very good acceleration and... Um, Top speed, not very great. I mean, I don't think you don't expect this thing to have amazing top speed, but uh, yeah, it's uh, top speed wise, it's a little slow. I'll be honest with you. All right, so handling seems to actually be pretty decent for this thing. Uh, I mean, I'd have to give some sort of credit towards the all-wheel drive system on this thing, obviously, as to why its handling is uh, above par, better than most. Yeah, it just uh, kind of sticks to the road pretty well. All right, yeah, so I did forget to mention in the beginning, this uh, vehicle is in the sports class category for racing. The sports class in GTA 5 Online is just huge. It's like, pretty sure there's around like 200 vehicles in the sports class. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, all right, so now that the road is dry, we can truly get an idea of the handling. And uh, I have to say, it's uh, it's pretty good. Sticking to the road, it's very predictable, as you would uh, assume. The handling characteristics are very predictable on it. Right, let's go ahead and do a real brake test now that the road is dry. Three, two, one, brake. Okay, yeah. Brakes aren't actually that bad. They're decent. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is going to pretty much do it for this video. Uh, overall, the Fister Neon is an electric vehicle that I would actually recommend owning in GTA 5 Online. So one and a half million dollars, not a bad price uh, for this thing. Uh, again, you like Porsche, you like electric vehicles, I would recommend it. Handles pretty good. Uh, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out. So, so as you can see, it is starting to uh, get dark and storm and start getting all crazy because it is Halloween season in GTA 5 online. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, or found it helpful, please drop a like. Also, 
please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. Thank you all so much for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.